Hi, you guys. How's it going? How's it going? So I definitely um, have benefited. Of course, I stopped quiet quitting. I officially resigned from my job. And this is the ending of the second week of being my own boss. I bossed up and it has been insane. And it has been very educational. <laughs> it's been stressful, but it's been uh, liberating. Like I feel free and I feel like I'm busy like I was when I was working a job and running my business on the side, but I feel in control, I'm in charge. I'm getting so much work done for my personal self, which is something that I felt I neglected, you know, between working, I didn't totally neglect, I wouldn't say neglected, but now I realize how much more time I needed to invest in myself, my personal design. So I had a little checklist of things that I need to accomplish. So a couple of things that I've knocked out is I was able to, I was able to update my personal portfolio. You know, it's something that I really haven't taken time to do probably since I graduated from art school. So I definitely accomplished that. I got two um, interactive PDF portfolios up online, one to use for um, you know contracting business through a creative agency, uh, jobs that pop up, just sort of bidding for them, and then one to promote my design business as a you know as a whole. And so I feel definitely accomplished with that. I was able to do some branding and identity work for my sister. She's been wanting to branch out and start her path, you know, to doing more stuff with the, with her passion. And so I was able to spend some time and take her through the design process. She went through it with me. It was the coolest thing ever. Like I usually do the, you know, the whole branding process that I do for customers but um, it was kind of cool to have someone sit with me and go through it and actually give input. It makes it so much more um, fun, you know, and dynamic. I'm sure it's with certain people though. I'm sure because it was my sister, it was fun, but certain customers are pretty complicated, so I probably wouldn't want to draw them in that closely with me during my process. But yeah, I feel like I was able to document the process a little more effectively, you know, so that I can be efficient. Now that I'm working for myself and I'm my own boss, I have to really juggle my deadlines along with my customers, along with my projects, and really stay in control. The anxiety levels were up just a little bit, but I saw it coming and was able to, um, you know, manage it and get a handle on it. So it has been great. I am trying to rev back up on my weight loss journey and get some more pounds off my body. That's my goal. So you guys, it's been great. I'm my own boss. Since I stopped quiet quitting and resigned from my job, I see my purpose. I see the benefits. I see the results of this scary decision and things are looking up for me. You know, it's not easy, but it's possible. And every day is not the same, but my energy, I wake up with the same energy. I'm sleeping better now at night. For the first week, I'd say I didn't get a lot of sleep. You know, my mind is racing, so I'm up at the de at the design hours, which we call like, you know, two, three, four in the morning. It feels like subconsciously, like the creative energy is clear. People are asleep, people are chilling. So I get more of the creative pool. So I feel like a lot of the things that I accomplished were during those hours. But the good thing is when I, I was up from one to like five in the morning working, I was able to lay down and sleep in. I didn't have an alarm waking me up at 8.30 or nine to start things or people pinging me or, you know, the stresses of things happening that I really don't feel like attending to. So being my own boss is definitely something that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm embracing it. I'm having fun. It's my checkup. This is my two weeks as my own boss, you guys. Ooh. Oh, I had a snafu. So I didn't take time to really find out how my insurance would switch over from the job to my private insurance. And so there, there was a little bit of a gap because I didn't, um, I just had so many things going honestly that I forgot to follow up and confirm how that works. So I called my handy dandy insurance guy, Jason Steele. I forgot to shout out his name on my last um, video. I just drew a blank, I don't know. But anyway, I was able to reach out to him and he was on it. Like he 
called, find out, researched in the next morning, like less than 24 hours. He said give him 24 hours, but it had to be like 12 hours later. I think he woke me up calling me to let me know the results. He was able to move some of my insurance portions up. The rest will have to wait. But shout out to Jason Steele. See his information below. For sure, you guys, if you're going into business for yourself or you're looking for insurance coverage, private insurance coverage for yourself, call my boy Jason Steele. Let him get you set up. He'll analyze what you need and find a policy that works well for you, for your budget, for your health care needs, and so on. And then he was, he's more like a friend now. So I appreciate you, Jason, for assessing this for me and just easing my mind with my little snafu of not being totally on top of my business with this whole resigning from the job thing but hey i'm learning i'm a work in process and it's happening so i am excited Woo!